Proclamation Number 7622, June 15, 1960. Following Jesus, patiently bearing the cross. You demonstrate that you follow me when you patiently accept the suffering which my love places upon you so that your souls will mature. Always remember that I requested you to follow me with the words, Let him take up his cross and follow me. I certainly want to help you carry your cross, but you should not try to throw it away completely. You should always consider that you can remove many impurities from your soul if you patiently carry your cross. I will always give you the strength for it if you ask me, for I am always close to you if you live in my discipleship on earth, and you don't have much time left. Therefore, you will have to endure increased suffering because I want to help you attain a degree of light while you are still on earth, which will enable you to enter into beatitude when your end has come. But always remain in contact with me through loving activity, prayer, and constant thinking of me, for then I will always be able to be close to you and you can safely follow your path, even if you have to carry a small cross. However, a steady life in carefree tranquility would not be beneficial for you unless you were so extraordinarily lovingly active that your soul's process of maturing would be successfully accomplished. But you are all still too half-hearted in your kind-hearted actions, and therefore gain too little for your soul and thus the suffering must contribute towards your purification process. And always remember the terrible suffering I have taken upon myself on your behalf. You yourselves would have had to endure this suffering on account of your guilt of sin, and you would have been incapable of doing so. This is why I accepted the guilt on your behalf and suffered indescribably because I love you and wanted to endure the suffering on your behalf. Then your cross will seem small to you. You will gladly carry it because you want to follow me, and you will safely enter through the gate into the kingdom of light because I pave the way and open the gate for you so that you will be blissfully happy. Accept your cross, that is, patiently and for love of me, carry all suffering which burdens you but which is needed for your maturity of soul. For one day the soul may take pleasure in the light. One day the cross it had to carry will seem an easy one. Let me walk by your side. Then I will help you carry, and you will not feel the burden so much. And I am with every person who calls upon me in thought. I only wait for this call, because I cannot take effect in you against your own will, despite my love for you. But I will never leave you alone, and even the cross placed upon you is proof of my presence. Because I thereby gently admonish you to follow me, who took all of human suffering upon my shoulders and walked the path to the cross with it. Therefore, be patient, no matter what weighs you down. My love will strengthen you. My love will relieve you from the cross when the time is right. Amen.